Hey guys, this is Tattoo Tony, and welcome to another remastered re-release of a place that we explored a few years ago. It's in a giant abandoned medical building, and also uh, there's a pharmacy in here, and there's a lot of cool vintage stuff in here. Uh, this original clip on the video was kind of cool. Andrew was uh, going back and forth. I kind of chopped it. He was laughing, and he sounded funny, and I sped it up and slowed it down. It looked pretty cool. Uh, this was immediately as we entered the building and I was a little bit unsure about the safety of the building. You can see how much of it's collapsing and how much is hanging from the ceiling. Um, parts of the structure were extremely dangerous and some parts of it were somewhat stable still. You can see there was a rack that I just passed really quickly and that would have been some sort of display rack inside the pharmacy. Uh, this pharmacy medical building was located, and I bet you it's pretty much crumbled by this point, but it was located in, uh, I believe, Baden, which is a very old suburb north of St. Louis, and I think it was a uh, German, like a German, um, German-founded suburb town. The buildings in this area... Uh, mostly probably 1920s there's it, you know I haven't went and looked up the history recently of the uh, area but I'm sure that there are some things that were there before that but I would I would make a guess that there's a lot of things from the 20s here it looks like this used to be a royal pharmacy and there's some really old cool coupons out of the newspaper you can see pantyhose 93 cents Cognac, Contact, something 79 cents. Facial cleanser, $4. Travel kit, $2.95. Aftershave, $1.95. 50 cents off a prescription. And people kept asking me where this place was because they wanted to explore it at the time. If you pause it, you'll see that the address is down below, I believe, on that newspaper. MIP Industries. I don't know what that Dutch Street was all about. Uh, there was some cool stuff coming down these stairs and a bunch of display stuff in the basement. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, colors in my old videos were pretty flat. Uh, this was filmed using a GoPro 5 and uh, I decided to recolor grade some of these and re-release them because I know a lot of you guys that have been with me for a while have seen these uh, might find it interesting to re-watch but there's a lot of new subscribers who probably haven't found these so I'm picking some of my favorite stuff and re-releasing it anybody have any idea what that Cerbex bottle is? It's a pretty cool bottle um, I did not remove anything from this building, and it's probably, like I said, it's probably collapsed in and destroyed at this point. But, um, cool bottle, though. There's a few things that if you were kind of hunting for stuff, you, you might have taken. But I don't. I don't have time for all that. Who needs to pile up a bunch of asbestos-ridden, moldy junk in their habitat anyways? Holiday freezer boxes. I love vintage stuff. Uh, vintage advertising. Uh, vintage illustrations, lettering. I Recently I've been watching a ton of movies from the mid-70s that were filmed in New York City. And there's a few things I like about them. Um, I like the street scenes. I like the buildings. I like all the cool cars from the 70s and 60s that are in the films. Even up to like, you know, early 80s. And I like all the vintage advertising and signs and, you know, half of it's me watching the plot. The other half or more is me just looking at uh, the old vintage advertising and signs and scenes inside stores and seeing what's there. So you can see there's quite a bit of water here. At some point I was wearing like rubber boots when I was exploring for water and that's something I've forgotten about here recently. And, uh... Got a lot of back pain and injury issues, so I like to wear things that are a little more comfortable. Um, but that I probably need to get something comfy and waterproof because I don't want to miss out on filming things because I don't want wet feet, and I definitely don't want my feet 
soaked in the water in the basement of these places. It's pretty nasty stuff. Stagnant. Full of who knows what. Let's take a look here and see. Those looks like they look like let's see what these are. After the time that has passed, I don't remember every last thing that I've found in these buildings. Royal Pharmacy. Looks like some kind of... They look like some sort of pharmacy records. By the way, if you're new to the channel and you somehow came across this video, make sure you subscribe, like, share. Also, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our videos. Go over to Old and Fat Exploration and... Uh, He's got a bunch of footage that he hasn't posted from abandoned buildings that you guys probably want to see, so I'd recommend going and harassing him. Prescription records, that's what they are. Let's see. wonder if there's a year. Wow, they're all handwritten, so pretty old. You know, these are prescription records from before there was a computer system. So that's been a while. There's a comb, anyone? 40 cents. There's Andrew. He wasted all this time just photographing in these buildings, which actually wasn't a waste of time, but he explored them all with me. Didn't take any video footage. <laughs> musk. There's some of that uh, spray musk that was on sale in the ad. Royal Pharmacy. Should have sprayed some and saw what it smelled like after 40 years of sitting in a musty, dank, moldy environment. A yogurt maker. How about that? I wonder if you took one of these kits, they had several of them, and tried to make yogurt after they'd been exposed to all this crud. What would come out? It'd probably be a monster, some kind of... Some kind of creature would probably walk away. America yogurt culture. See that? A America. And there is some sort of, I guess that might have been left over from the pharmacy. That's a really old. Uh, looks like syringe of some sort and an old shopping cart and as you can see in this part this is a big section where the floor is falling and caving in and I probably went across some of this um, I'm assuming that we were in some of the stockpile and basement and storage and that uh, that that area there would have been a you know floor with the racks and you know shopping area there's me poking something around And let's see where we are here. Looks like we're going to another basement section. Hey, that's an old vintage Hardee's cup. That's pretty cool. It almost looks like there would have been some sort of medical stuff or prescription uh, counters in the basement, I believe. Look at those cool screens in between those windows. Here's a desk here. Let's see what's on this. Oh, prescriptions. I bet not. I hope not. I don't want to finish. I bet too, most of these doctors are probably deceased from those prescription pads. Or they're like a hundred years old now. Cigar box. There's an old vintage cigar box. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah this was a really cool find. Some of you guys probably know that I've been harassed recently. I was using a GoPro here. I was never, you know, trained in any kind of... You know, I just decided to start doing this because I thought it was fun and I used to go in abandoned little farms and stuff when I was a kid. And recently I've had some controversy with some Dan Bell viewers coming to my channel and upset about jokes where I said he was in my video and I was just joking. It was pretty obvious. Hey, there's a powder room. Anyways, they said that I was a no-talent scumbag riding his coattails. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, the thing is I'm showing you more places and, and documenting places where other explorers aren't going because they're in my neck of the woods and uh, it is what it is. But I, I wonder how people end up with that kind of time on their hands. You know, I'm busy usually working 55 hours a week or spending time with family or being tired and going to sleep or filming or flying my drone or creating stuff for you guys to watch and just wonder, you know, I never, if a, oh, people complain on here and it's crazy. Let's see, what was that? That was probably a lipstick makeup rack. Sometimes I listen to musicians where I've listened to several albums and they do something new that I don't really care for as much. But I never take my time to complain and tell them and say, hey, you know, I don't like that, da da da. Well, they tried to do something. There's just a lot of crazy stuff. People are crazy the way they criticize when you try to create things for them to watch. Terracotta. Enough of that, though. I'm off that subject. Oh, I wish I had those shoes still. <laughs> I forgot about those tennis shoes. They were new balances. But they had a mesh top, so it let a lot of crummy crap on my feet. Let me know what you think of this. Tell me if you enjoyed it in the comments. Um, also, uh, let me know what's going on. Are you worried about uh, the stay-at-home orders? And you know, Let me know what's going on with you. Leave it in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. That looks like some sort of giant walker. It has wheels on the bottom and little handles. Here's a cool Timex watch display. Some of that stuff, you know, would be cool to uh, be restored and pulled out and cleaned up and used uh, somewhere. The vintage displays. There's an old telephone. See, it's got a cradle. It doesn't quite have a hook. Something else, though, that I found kind of interesting. Here's a snow globe I'm about to pick up. I do know that. Probably for sale in the pharmacy. But anyways, kids these days, I don't even know if they still use the term hang the phone back up on the hook. Uh, when I was a kid, there were still phones that hung on the wall that had a hook that you hung the telephone on. Or the phone is off the hook. That terminology is probably going to disappear from our vernacular. Does anybody even ever call anybody anymore and get that tone that tells you that the phone is off the hook? Or that the phone is busy? Does anybody ever get a busy signal? Do kids even know what busy signals are anymore? I bet if they used a uh, landline phone hooked up and called somebody and had a busy signal they'd probably think to phone system had crashed and malfunctioned. That stuff, it, it started to corrode and that, that shaving cream started to leak out of there. McKesson. That's some sort of medical supply company. I've seen it before and I also think that I may have seen that with some sort of slides or things in science class or telescopes. Definitely no medical supply. Royal powder. I think that was the makeup kind of room where they sold makeup. Looks like some of this pharmacy might have been in the basement. The puff room.
There's Andrew pointing and talking about. Oh, yeah, some more of those old syringes. That looks like a base to a bird bath or something sitting there, I think. That's pretty cool. And here we are. Going back through this mess of tangled, dangerous decay. I hope you find this music inspirational. I know I do. And you're going to see a little bit of the outside of the building because I've put two buildings together, or two videos, two buildings together. No, I did not move two buildings and put them together. That glass was really cool we just passed. That's some vintage door glass. Um, next video, we're going upstairs. Also, at the end of some of these videos, we're going to walk around the outside and show a little bit of street footage. So you're about to hit the next intro. Here you go. And then we're going to go up those stairs. Now you can see really how massive this building complex is. For sale medical center. There's a bus stop nearby. There's some cool tiles on that pillar and uh, looks like they're chipping off. There's Andrew lagging behind. He usually is. I'm usually way out in front of everybody. He says I'm kind of a jerk. But don't be mistaken. He's really the jerk. <laughs> Just kidding. Bail bond. Need help? Need prayer? Are you sick? Send us five dollars. We'll pray for you. Man, Andrew almost fell. You're gonna have to wait and watch this. He stepped across one of these areas right there, I believe, to get to the other part of the building, and dang near fell through the floor. It was probably one of the most dangerous floors we've stepped on. And I bet even now today you wouldn't want to cross that. It's probably even more decayed than it was previously. Pfizer, that's definitely a drug company. find some more cool stuff up here too just kind of showing you around uh, I think there was some doctor's offices up here at one point obviously with the medical building it's kind of an interesting lining to the closet sort of looks like a quilted pillow top mattress in there doesn't it place has been pretty roughed up. So yeah, this place definitely dangerous to walk across. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you find this place, 
and decide to go here because you're riding my coattails as uh, Dan Bell's followers would like to say uh, be careful in the top floor of this because you probably fall through there was some good old triaminic syrup whoa what is that I remember that from the video look like somebody left a prize yeah here we are see he made it across there look at that floor right there that he's pointing at that's insane that's really nuts I think he was telling me about how he almost died um, you walk on that little edge right there and try to find some kind of support you can see that's just insane that's an, that's that's nuts and then kind of walk to this edge and go through this doorway and cross to the other side I don't recommend it like I said two three years have passed and there's probably no way you're getting across there now in fact I'd be kinda curious I haven't been up by that area in a long time to go take a look um, place may not even be there it might be a pile of rubble Pretty cool wallpaper though. So I believe at the end of the store's life there was, um, you know, kind of, I don't know, junk stores or knick-knack, nickel and dime dollar store type stuff that was being sold up here, I, I imagine. Either that or it was just uh, overstock from, old overstock from the pharmacy. Because you'll find a bunch of knick-knack type stuff in these birthday candles. What do those look like, 80s? I'm not quite sure. I have to see the packaging. A little Santa Claus. Christmas paper. Wrapping paper. A uh, whole bunch of pizza cutters in a box. It must have been overstocked for the pharmacy they kept up here. Some of these places uh, or spots in this building moving kind of slow, walking through here kind of slowly, uh, just because I was probably trying to check and make sure that it was safe to step on it so that I wouldn't fall through to that giant pit in the lower level. There are some mattresses laid up against here. It's hard to say why those would be here. Maybe somebody was sleeping in the building at one point, but that time had long passed. That's a pretty ornate radiator, though. That's pretty cool. In some of those areas, the reason you see me peek in and then back out is because, again, uh, it may have not been safe to step through that area. I could feel the floor start to give way.
Those look like stock shelves too. Let's see what that tag says. Probably have to have this on a TV and get up close to read those tags. This says Law Office, Entrance Room 203. So one point, uh, looks like this is some sort of overstock for a store and shelves up here. But at one point it was a law office as well. And here in a second we're going to take another look outside the building and through the alley and then me and Andrew are going to stand around and talk for a second about what we thought of the building. Hope you enjoyed this re-release. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you've seen this video before, if this is your first time watching, and if you'd like to see me re-release more of my old older material. Obviously we're going to aspire to make more new stuff. I do have some footage you guys haven't seen still on the computer. Um, things are slightly uncertain right now as far as when it's going to be easy to travel around and go to a lot of different places. And uh, uncertainty as to when Andrew is going to be not too scared to leave his home because he's, he's wearing a tinfoil hat right now. He's at home right now wearing a tinfoil hat.